Hi, this is Tim from Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumb Asses. Stay with us as we show you uh, how to install a silt fence to prevent erosion. Hey, if you like what these two dumb asses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. Tim, uh, we're here and uh, we're going to talk about uh, erosion control using a silt fence. Um, why do you want to put a silt fence here and uh, you know what's the purpose of it? Well, as you can see, uh, We've got quite a bit of erosion here. Um, two years ago, we installed, we put in a, we had a big ravine here, so we put in a, a pond, and I put in lots of cattails and some prairie grasses here to try to stop the erosion. But we have such a big watershed, it just washed it all away. So, um, as you can see, we've got some pretty good ruts. So, I probably should have put this erosion fence in ahead of time. So, well. Better late than never, so we're putting in this erosion fence to kind of slow this down. I'm going to re-embed cattails in here as a filtration unit to slow all this water coming down here and uh, see if we can get a, get ahead of this. Awesome. Well, stay with us. Uh, we're going to go through the steps. Hey, welcome to the episode, guys. Uh, we're talking about uh, silt fences here, Tim. So maybe uh, let's start with uh, what materials do these folks need? So I think to start with, I mean, you can find these silt fences just about anywhere. Find your favorite hardware or, you know, someplace like a, a Menards, that's where we bought these. They're not very expensive. I think you can buy a, a uh, I think they're 30, 30, 40, 50 feet, and they cost about uh, 40 bucks. So really pretty reasonable. There's, I didn't see a lot of direction as far as how to install them. So. What you're going to see is a little bit of timology and how I kind of figured out this is my second one that I put in and it works. So uh, I used a little, uh, I used some tight um, tie down strips. You're going to have to have ample amount of stakes. I like to use yellow because they're easy to find. Uh, hammer and then I used to put, I use a post hole uh, pounder for these stakes. The one thing I would mention is the best time to put these these things in really is really after a rain when your ground's a little soft otherwise the test takes about two to three times longer we put in a section that was probably 25 feet 20 25 feet and it took us 15 minutes and you could get the stakes in and then what you'll see later on in the video is how we use those, those tightener strips to reinforce this and then rope you're going to want to make sure you have rope uh, because I started to use additional stakes just to stabilize because you never because wherever you're putting it you probably have a gully or wash and it's going to get a fair amount of water so you want to make sure that you don't have to redo it so we put in some additional stakes to reinforce from a strength perspective. Yeah I thought that was really smart um, it's only going to help. So kind of the steps Tim in this is step one you know measure out your uh, fence and kind of cut it to length yep and uh, hammer in the hammer in the uh, stakes um, how, how far do you hammer them in uh, very good question so if you look at these if you look at these it's got a line right here again no direction so uh, how I do it is that I pound until this line is at the ground level and then what's going to happen is, is we're going to have this extra cloth and then what I do is I stake that I stake that cloth in so that water comes in that water comes in and it's all all cup right here and I've got it staked in and then it meters it through so you pound these stakes right into this line if, if your silk fence comes with a line you want to have that little extra fabric Step two is, is uh, you zip tip, zip strip two zips on uh, each pole yep. to make sure that uh, little reinforcements don't give in. And then you put additional reinforcement poles upstream and tied ropes to them so it didn't get bone over. Yep, that's right. And then when I do pound these stakes in, I pound them in at just a little bit of an angle. 
uh, towards where the flow is going to come just to give it a little extra strength as well. In these silt fences, these are basically just stapled in to these boards, so the amount of time it's going to stay is anybody's guess. So what I choose to do, you see we got a lot of good wind coming up against this, so what I do is I put a little reinforcement with some tie downs just to give it a little extra strength so the fence can last us a little longer. past um, what what kind of success have you had and have they worked really well yeah really good so again this is just one tactic and what you're trying to do is, is stop the stop the erosion and the water flow and just you're really not stopping it but slow it way down and give vegetation a chance to grow and once that vegetation starts to grow it'll start to stop your erosion another tactic is, is you start to put in other types of plants that will also help filter that so part of my strategy where we put this last one is I'm going to put some cattails in to help control and control that I've put them in there twice and they've all washed away so that's what I'm going to do this time yeah pretty slick pretty slick and again um, you got this in Menards and what would I expect to pay for this yeah, 30 to 50 bucks okay nice nice all right look good yeah look good anything else no nope. take advantage of that 11 percent discount uh, yeah, I'm rebate, right? Yeah. <laughs> rebate. We're going to give you 11% more to come back and buy something else, but it's all good. It's all good. Well, until then, be safe, have fun, and get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.